Maybe you have a kid who can operate an Android phone and an iPad at the same time, but you just want a kid to just stick to the iPad and learn something and not, you know, move from app to app and make sure he's inside one app locked in. Or you have a young teenager who wants to use your phone camera to snap because your camera is better than theirs. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make someone stick to one app on your phone, whether it be Android or iOS, in a split second. <laughs> Okay, let's start alphabetically with Android. There are a whole lot of apps that you can use in Android. You see, there are also other ways you can lock up Android, but uh, some of them might not be effective. Okay, let's look at App Lock. You can lock App Lock, but uh, it's kind of useless because App Lock is an app you install, except the OEM, you know, built into the system. If you're using the App Lock app, you know, somebody can go into your settings, uh, go to apps, and then wipe the data of the App Lock, and everything you lock will be open. So let's grab that out. Um, there is also guest mode for Android, but um, that defeats the aim because the person is having access to system resources. Okay, so at this point, I'll tell you to subscribe, but right now, since we've reached 1K subscribers, I'll tell you for once in your life and in YouTube, just subscribe for no reason because we've achieved our long life goal of 1K subscribers. So thank you and let's go in into that fully. Screen pinning was introduced in Android uh, 6 a couple of years ago, but due to the diversity of different OEM skin on top of Android, I'm going to use two different OEM skin to show you how to actually go into your setting and also to turn on the screen pinning uh, function for your own phone. You have to turn it on first. Now here are two Android OEM skins. Just go to the setting. It's usually under device security, uh, but in the app on the right, it's not there. It's actually inside the device and privacy. So whatever it is, just go in there. Um, then you will see other options like ask for pin uh, before I'm pinning your lock screen pin, or you can have another thing similar like you know lock screen after on pin in there just the same thing uh, alternatively you can just use the search function inside your setting to just type in screen pinning and it will take you to where your screen pin is you don't need to go through all this if you have that search function on top of your setting so once you've done it let's see how you are good to go so this is the first app we're going to turn it on for the screen pinning and you can do it for any other app i chose this one because my little daughter loved this one so you go to the recent menu in android and then you go to the treat pin bar and then you turn on the screen pinning it will give you instructions here how to actually unpin it so make sure that you know you're doing this alone for your you know teenagers because they will be able to unlock that but uh, notwithstanding remember there's an extra security feature whereby you can actually request for pin you know when it's your lock screen pin when it's actually unpinned from here so and nothing will work you can't leave this app you can't go back you can't go home you can't do any other thing you stay here if you touch the lock screen if that pin is on it will take you to the lock screen and lock the screen and then you open the pin to unpin it back if it's not on it will close and open again so that's just that for android which is very 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 good now we're going to go to the ios and then see the guided access the settings for guided access is the same for iPhone and iPads, but in this video, I'll be using an iPad. So you just go to your setting, general accessibility, and scroll down to guided access. It's the same for iPhone and iPad. So general, um, you go to accessibility, and you scroll down, and then you pick guided access. So that's just about that for both iPhone and iPad. So when you go in there, you turn it on and then you see extra option. Now, one of the ones we're going to use here very well is the passcode. There's also time limits and accessibility shortcuts. So you set your passcode. Uh, we turn it on. Now we we'll start guided access passcode and this is different from your lock screen pin uh, so it's different so you just put it on then uh, when you go back you go on to an app open an app and uh, press the button the home button three times in quick succession so let's open this one i love my data to just 
you know, keep counting, singing her ABC and counting her one, two, threes. So triple press, you put your passcode pin and now it opens up to give you option. Now this is where uh, iOS implementation is better than Android because you can actually first reboot Android. But in iOS now you can decide to turn off every button on the system every button volume button sleep wake button power button keyboard you know even the touch on the screen so you can either select an area that you want it to work touch screen to work or you can actually turn it off and that is a very very good implementation here so uh now you resume get it access as you can see nothing else will work not the screen not the touch screen not nothing will work nothing will work the power button it won't work it will show you get it access is on and then on the volume button nothing will work to still tell you guided access is on i tell you how to also go out of it so um, if you press three times, you see the guided access. If you put the passcode, uh, then it will be able to take you back where you can actually end it if you want to end it or resume it if you want to resume it and, you know, or allow touch screen or some other thing. Press it three times again. It will pop up here. You put the passcode. And when you put the passcode, you know, it now gives you option to either you turn on the motion or volume button or whatever. Or you just end, you know, the guided access. So with this, you can get your kids to sit down one place, learn something, learn a program, and they will be able to use that particular app, only that app that they will be able to use and learn whatever you want them to learn. So that will be about it. I'll see you in the next video. And if you watch to this point, subscribe. I'll see you.